Now I'm installing the Thermaltake Big Water 780E inside the Thermaltake Zazer 6 chassis. Uh, so this is going to be an absolute dream, nice and simple, lots of room and easy to refill when it's got an opening compartment at the top. Check this out. So we're just going to take the top 3U and just slide this right in, being careful not to clip any wires here. There we go. If any wires are getting taut, uh, just make sure that you loosen them up and just give them enough slack so that the device will fit without pulling on any of your cabling. And there we go. It's going to slide right in there. There we go. So now you can see how large my V1 fan is here. And it's an excellent cooling system. I really love it. And uh, I'm almost sorry to see it go. But look at the difference in size. Look at how much uh, extra airflow I'm going to get into this system because this is so tiny. There's no coils or anything like that. So this entire fan system is going to come right out of this system. And we're going to be replacing that with the uh, water block here from Thermaltake. Now, if you happen to be privileged enough to have uh, such a nice chassis as the Thermaltake Zazer 6, it's beautiful because we're going to be able to remove the uh, motherboard like a drawer so that we can start working on it. If, on the other hand, you have a standard chassis, now you can still work like this, but you're going to have to unscrew that motherboard and remove it from the chassis itself because we've got to get it underneath so that we can mount the apparatus, the uh, mounting hardware for the uh, copper uh, liquid cooling system uh, water block. Now you'll notice whenever I'm working on a chassis, I'm using uh, anti-static wrist guards. You want to have some form of grounding going on or anti-static device. Uh, you can use anti-static gloves, you can use a ground plate, a ground mat, anything like that. These are handy because they're wireless, so I like that. So here's just another one of the beauties of the Thermaltake Zazer 6 chassis. This just makes things so easy to work with. Look at that. And there we go. All right, so let's get started. Now just use a cloth or a piece of paper towel, not Kleenex because you don't want to leave any lint behind or anything like that. Something that's not going to leave any lint and just get that processor all cleaned up. Let's get all this gum off of there. So we're going to put on new thermal grease. doesn't have to be perfect, we just want to make sure absolutely no fingerprints because the oils in your fingers are going to cause, well, it's going to affect the cooling. You want to have a perfect thermal connection between the heat sink and the processor. Now you'll see in the box of the Big Water 780E that there's these three items here. Now we've got our metal bracket plate, We've got our insulator and our padding just for cushion. So what we want to do is we want to affix these together the way that we would like. And uh, so we're just going to peel the backing, first of all, off the insulator. And this is just like a, a tape backing. So we're just going to peel that right off, and that's going to give us a sticky side. So just line up the holes. Little tip for you, the cushion has the tape on both sides. If you'd like to tape it to the underside of your motherboard, that's fine but then it's a permanent installation. So if you ever think that you're going to change the fan in your system, I wouldn't remove the tape from both sides. Now first things first, you're going to see that there's four of two different length screws. For the socket 775, we're actually going to use the longest screws. We're just going to flip this motherboard right over again. And once again, we're going to line up our mounting plate here. We're going to do that just by Sticking a screw through, and we do that on all four corners of the socket 775 holes. There, just like that. Okay, so now that's ready to be mounted on the motherboard. 
Always be very, very gentle when you're doing these kinds of things. I tend to hold the, you know, hold it with a little bit of looseness to it. Because you don't want to scratch the underside of the board, damage some of the soldering joints or anything like that. You've got to be very careful of those kinds of things. Okay, there we are. And now from that pile of screws and things, you see these little red washers. These are nice little insulators there. We're going to put one on each screw that's sticking up here. And next we have these little guys, which are going to screw right onto those screws. That's going to hold everything in place. Now when we tighten these screws, we have to keep in mind that uh, we want them to be nice and snug, but we don't want to tighten them so much when we're... Whenever we're screwing into a motherboard, you don't want to tighten so much that you could crack the motherboard. So we want to be careful of that. So we're just going to use our thumbs to, uh, well, our fingers to hold the nut in place. And then on the other side, we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver and just tighten those up just enough that things are nice and snug. Always be careful when you're holding your motherboard as well that we don't bend any of the capacitors or anything that's connected into the board. Again, it's all about just being very gentle with it, and we don't want to damage anything as we're doing this. And there we are. We're going to add this uh, thermal compound to the top of our processor, which we've already cleaned up. So just open that up and just squirt it right in the middle, because the pressure when you add the, uh, when you tighten up the water block is going to squish that and make it flat. So we don't need to actually flatten it on the processor. Just a little pea-sized ball. Now we take our, our CPU water block, remove the protective tape from the bottom, and never touch that copper. <coughs> That's why the plastic is there, is to keep that nice and clean. So now we slowly, carefully, and as levelly as possible, drop that down on top of the CPU. The reason we want to be level with that is because we want that thermal grease underneath to get even an even coating underneath. Grab your thumb screws now and we're just going to put those right on our screws. Make sure those are nice and snug, nice and even. Don't tighten up one before you tighten up all of them. Kind of tighten them all equally at the same time. Because again we want this to go down nice and level. So our CPU water block for the Thermal Take Big Water 780E is ready to go. Nice and easy. Install was a breeze. Now we're going to put our motherboard back into our chassis.